Causes of Clutch Failure Before we dive in please click on the subscriber button, like and share, we'll be back after the break. The clutch system is one of the hard-working components in a manual transmission car. The clutch system is always engaged and disengaged by every time you change gear, increase and decrease, every time you start the car, and when you stop. It's very important for you to know that the clutch assembly has many components that wear down with more usage and others that need to be maintained regularly. These are some of the basic components. A cable, flywheel, clutch fork, clutch disc, pressure plate, release bearing, throw out, release mechanism, mechanical or hydraulic, pilot bearing, and linkage. How long will a noisy clutch release bearing last? In most cases, a clutch can last for about 40,000 to 110,000 miles which depends on brand and model, but clutch lifespan is always affected by regular commercial city driving regular peeling of objects that has weight, and regularly putting a foot on the clutch while you drive. How to tell if you need a new clutch? The clutch pedal pulsates. Anytime there is the rotation of part swabble or vibration inside the transmission, you might experience your clutch pedal pulsate. If these happen, then a warped flywheel could be the issue or your release lever needs to be adjusted. Your clutch pedal feels loose or spongy. Anytime you experience a loose or spongy clutch pedal, then examine if your release bearing or clutch fork is damaged. Sometimes you will see failure in the pressure plate in the mechanical unit. Noisy clutch pedal when engaged slash disengaged. In case you hear a noisy sound when you match the clutch pedal or release it, or sometimes both, especially whenever you put off your engine then it means there are issues with the clutch fork or the clutch release mechanism. The clutch pedal is on the floor. Any clutch pedal that stays on the floor means there is a binding issue with the release bearing or linkage. However, you can examine to ensure that the spring and the linkage is not too stretched, they might need to be adjusted. A whirling or grinding noise and transmission while in neutral. In case you notice a whirling or grinding noisy sound in your vehicle whenever the transmission is in neutral, but goes off when you match the clutch pedal, then that means it's from a worn out input shaft bearing. What causes the clutch release bearing to fail? Note that other common causes of the clutch release bearing to fail are, if the clutch cable is not well adjusted over time, and the clutch bearing is in frequent contact with a clutch pressure plate. However, this will always make it spin which will reduce its lifespan. <music> clutch release bearing noise Many manual transmission cars today have hydraulic clutch circuits. Yet most have mechanical linkage, they also use rods and cables to control the clutch. These cars have frequent running bearings, which spin when the engine runs and therefore should be adjusted to maintain preload after it's installed. Note that the replacement cost of a clutch release bearing will not be cheap. But for an average economy car, you should expect to pay around $800 to $1,200 for the clutch release bearing replacement, while a labor costs will be from $350 to $700. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for more videos, bye.